Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a door automatically open when you're within a certain like range or magnitude, you could say. And stuff, this video was requested, and I think this is the last door video I'll be doing. But yeah. Um, as always, if you guys have suggestions, leave them in the comments down below or join the Discord and suggest them. I don't really care. Suggestions are always great and stuff. I'm planning, I really do want to drop a lot of content. Like, I know I missed out like half the week. Yeah, like my last upload was middle of the week then beginning of the week yeah i want to drop some content this weekend and stuff um because i want to keep the stream i want to the like the um constant like flow of like how many subscribers i'm gaining because y'all are doing amazing right now we just hit 300 we literally just hit 200 subscribers not even that long ago if i recall correctly it was like um i think the that's the end of november that's what it was yeah yeah the end of November and stuff. We're not even half. We're like we're almost halfway to December, and we're already almost halfway to 400 subscribers. At the rate we're going, uh, that's almost 100 subscribers in in a month, and that's assuming we continue this flow. I do hope we do. But yeah, other stuff. Punch out this video. Um, I'm gonna try to think of something to drop later. This thing coming up with content is kind of hard. But yeah, though, I appreciate the support you guys have been showing and stuff. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so, well, actually, I was gonna delete the door. Like, I was just gonna remake it, but I mean, it's like, I don't really get the. I mean, it's like the fifth video in, like, we'll say the door series, so I don't really see a point in, like, redoing the entire thing. But let's say this is like your first time watching one of my videos, then, yeah. Anyway, okay. So, pretty much, you make a door, right? You just insert a block, you just scale it a little. Literally, you just make it look like a door. You scale it up, you change the brick color, the material. I chose wood for mine, right? That's my door, right? So then we go under the door, we open the door script, right? Here's the script I came up with, okay? Now, I know this looks a little bit crazy, right? This looks similar to what I've done before. Um, If you guys have come to my other videos that involve magnitude, with like while you do and stuff, right? So we're going to do while true do, then we're going to get all the children of the workspace, and then we're, we're going to see if they have a humanoid. Now, for the most effective way to do this, I would honestly say if you want a 100% surefire way of, of making sure that, that, what, that whatever you're getting in the workspace is a player, like an actual person, like playing and stuff, and not like, because you, your game might have NPCs, and of course NPCs have humanoids and stuff. Right, so if they have NPCs, I would not recommend doing it this way unless you're okay with the NPCs opening the doors, being able to open the doors. But if you don't want them to open the doors and you have NPCs in your game, then you would want to do two four IV pair of loops. You would want to match like the children in workspace to if they also exist, if their names also exist within the player service, if that makes sense. If you need help with that, just let me know in the comments and I can help you all out. But yeah, so yeah, once we get once we get all the children. And stuff then we're going to of course check that the humanoid if they do we're going to get the human parts magnitude the magnitude of the door if it's less than or equal to the magnitude always remember you guys can change this magnitude to fit whatever you want it completely is up to you some people might want the door to open if like a person is sitting at where uh, the position of the spawn or maybe they want it all the way over here over here over here it's completely up to you right so you change that as you please then we're changing the door or orientation which orientation is like it's rotation right negative 50 means it'll like spin oh it'll spin kind of like that way i think yeah i think it spins like that and then obviously and obviously this is it resetting it back as always the script will be in the description so you guys can just use that for reference um don't forget to put weights in the script since it is a wild to do loop and stuff. We don't want it to crash the game. All right. So as you guys can see, I, I get to a certain distance and stuff. Um, I would recommend if you're trying to make it so like when you get closer to it, like like, like you don't like how uh, like the current distance, like how I just have to walk right here for the door to open and stuff. You want to play around with the magnitude. That's what you want to do. Play around with the magnitude to get your desired result. I'm simply just demonstrating how you would do this. You guys would have to actually play around with the magnitude to get to where you want to be with the, the whole door thing. Right? Then the door will kind of... I know it looks kind of weird because like, the door is just kind of turning at an angle. Obviously, if you want to actually have the door swing open, I wouldn't recommend using orientation. I would recommend uh, lurking it or... Could use like a while. I'm not really sure to be honest with you, but yeah. 
and stuff. So that's how you do it. Once again, the script will be in the description. Thank you guys for all the support you guys have shown them on my channel. I hope this video was helpful to the person who requested it. And yeah, I expect another video or two today, but definitely another video today, and then one tomorrow. But yeah, I'll see you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.